Your hair is stuck in your nose right now. Oh, happy new year. Happy new year to you. Would you like some coffee? I would love some coffee in my new mug. Yeah. I got, uh, this is my second sea mug. Both, uh, both sea mugs actually are from chapters, <laughs> um, but they've obviously changed them, which is their hip way of trying to make you buy more of your letters. Right. Is to just change the actual type of cup. Because my old sea mug, which I should go get, is is more tall like this. I like the shape of that one. It's yeah. very interesting. Yeah. Um, we are drinking a very special Ethiopian. We are drinking a special Ethiopian. And that we've uh, never tried before. We've never tried. It is all the way from Tokyo. From Tokyo, from Japan. Mm -hmm. I love the daintiness of this packaging. <laughs> Normally I'm a big fan of super bright fun design stuff. Yeah. I like that it's a it's basically a plastic package mm -hmm. with a little map of the world. I'm pretty sure that you could buy, like it's almost like a bulk purchasing place based oh. on the photo. So my lovely sister got this for me. She spends a lot of time in Tokyo mm -hmm. and um, doesn't drink coffee, but was referred to this place by a friend. And so it seems like you could almost buy bulk and then I think they would just seal the bags. Yeah. That's kind of what it looked like, but I could be wrong. Uh, there is a little like, uh, you know, air gas degasser on the back, which is handy because I was worried when I first saw this that there was no way for the gas to get right. out. Um, and the beans themselves are a quite nice little roast. Mm -hmm. They almost seem a bit like a pea berry. They're quite tiny, uh, but they're roasted beautifully. And uh, they're washed. They're from Ethiopia. And outside of that... I, I did a quick Google Translate here. It says, not in complete sentences. <laughs> this is especially coffee, exclamation point. Um, this district produces high quality beans at high altitudes in the Sedano district. Sakiri's acidity, strong body, and fruity scent are gem that addictive. Oh. Um, this is extremely popular with coffee fans around the world. Grade one of the highest grade is a Gem carefully produced. The carefully selected beans have a rich aroma, have no savory taste, and are rarely sweet and rich. <laughs> I don't think that's right. <laughs> Those are the details I have on that bean. It's nice. It is very nice, actually. I feel like uh, you guys have been very grateful and kind with uh, sort of coffee donations. Yes. So really appreciate that. And this is our first bag that someone's brought back from Tokyo, from Japan. Yes. So we've now had coffee uh, from uh, via, Africa. Via London. It went back to London and was shipped from London. Yeah. So thank you very much for all of your coffee love. Yeah. We kind of thought we'd start the new year thinking about uh, the environment because clearly some terrible things are happening all around the world, but especially uh, in like Australia, Australia is like yeah. in a bad shape right now. And we need to minimize our carbon impacts, obviously, yeah. and the amount of things that we utilize every day that are just one-use items. Yes. And coffee is very one-use items. So the cups you drink out of, mm -hmm. uh, the paper filters, all those things are very one-use. And while you're probably gonna have experiences for the rest of your life until some point well past my time on this earth, yeah. I bet you you'll often have some kind of one-use item. Mm -hmm. But in saying that, we are big fans already of multi-use cups for sure. We are. And so we wanted to share a bit of that and talk a little bit about the one-use cups that we use. The multi-use cups. The multi-use cups, sorry, the multi-use cups. The multi-use cups. I think I said one-use and multi-use far too many times there. <laughs> The idea being, if you make coffee in the morning, you make coffee at work, you know, how do you transport that? What's the best vessel? Yeah. What do you like doing? And there is tons of options out there to 
um, have something everywhere basically. Yeah, you could even carry one in your car so when you, if you do go out for coffee, then most of the time you get a discount in places. Yeah. Not a big one. Actually. Even if it's 10 cents, but it's something. Um, I'm gonna start off. Okay. I'm gonna start off with the Yeti cup. Uh, I quite like Yeti. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have a big water bottle from Yeti. They're very well made. Yes. I feel like this is the ultimate. It's durable. Yeah, very durable. Camping gone wild slash now you buy wine Yetis mm -hmm. when you're glamping and uh, it's no longer just for the hunter in the backwoods. And so I feel like Yeti's really jumped on. Um, their marketing's crazy. It's not cheap. Um, but it, the Yeti cup itself is quite nice, keeps your coffee quite warm, especially considering there is a plastic top. Um, the seal I think is quite good, I found it quite good. We're going to do a bit of a water test after to show everyone what it's like. Uh, the drinking side of it is quite nice, I like the fact that it's quite close to the to lip, so the drink's easy. It is quite big, so my one big maybe problem with this is if you don't have big hands this is definitely going to be a lot uh, which then in turn means you cannot stick this in most car uh, cup holders yeah that was going to be so i've used that cup um you loaned it to me one time and i felt like the hand it was too big like i almost felt like i needed to drink it like this yeah and i have decently sized hands yeah but that was my one complaint but my coffee was hot for longer than it needed to be. Yeah, and I think you can feel it inside of this. This double walled stainless is, is I think, super, super good at insulation. And that lid is, is quite strong, so it's a firm lid. So I'll be curious to see uh, what our spill test shows. Yes. But number one, if you want the hip brand, I would say try a Yeti out. They're, um, they're, they're bougie and yeah. they come in a bunch of colors instead of this black. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of options there. Yeah. What about you? Um, I'm gonna start with my favorite. Um, so this is the clean canteen uh, with the cafe lid. So you can interchange lids. You can buy like a water bottle lid for the top of this if you wanted. Oh. Um, this one is 12 ounces. So you'll notice with my selection is I like very small cups for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but the lid is just a, has a turn. Um, I found it, I have dropped it on my garage floor a few times, so it's a little scratched up, but it's managed to survive that. Like, I think three times dropping it on my coffee floor. Yeah. Um, so, I really like it. You can buy it in bigger sizes. Um, it's double walled. You can take this apart, which I really like, so you can actually clean the inside. Yeah. Take the whole lid apart. Um, but it's my go-to every day. I feel like you've been using that forever. Yeah, I actually, um, when I was in Portland a few years ago, they had clean canteen um, at Stumptown. And then I left Portland and didn't buy one. I thought, I've made a big mistake. <laughs> so I ordered one. Nice. Yeah, that's my go-to. Uh, my second one, and maybe your second one too, um, if you want to grab yours, are the Keepa Cups. I think Keep Cups uh, are super, super awesome for what they're doing. I mean, they're trying to become the coffee shop standard. So you'll notice uh, two distinct sizes. Uh, they have gone with what they would consider the barista classic sizing. So if you have a cappuccino or an Americano or a latte, they'll have different size Keep Cups. So if there's even if there's a drink that you normally have, if it was like a traditional macchiato or cappuccino, um, I have the bigger size, which I quite like because I fill it up with coffee in the morning. So I have a smaller size, but I like coffee. Yeah, exactly. They they come in lots of different styles. There's ones with cork. There's actually glass ones nowadays. Yeah. These are from the gang at uh, Eight Ounce Coffee. They were nice enough to send us a couple of pairs. Uh, the lid system itself is pretty easy. Uh, it's a spinnable little uh, tab that you can kind of park in a park spot if you're drinking, um, or move over and then block your hole. And same thing, it comes apart. So you can clean, clean it really it. easy. My only complaint, and it's not even a complaint, it's just a, um, because we live in Northern Canada, where it's very cold, this is to me more of a summertime and or at the office kind of use. It's not a, I'm gonna make coffee, take it to work, and then drink it at work, because by then it's probably cold. 
yeah. This is definitely just a heavy plastic. Um, you can throw in your dishwasher on the top shelf, so super easy way to clean, but I would echo the same sentiment. If you want, if you're the person that sips coffee throughout the day and has that one cup, this isn't for you. Because uh, even at your desk after a short period of time, it'll go pretty lukewarm. Uh, which again, if you like, you know, if you like that, that's fine. If you like lukewarm coffee, but I like to mine to stay a bit hotter. Um, so this is kind of, I would try to drink this probably on the way to work because it won't yes. last much longer than that. Um, I did use it in the summer and put iced coffee in it. Yeah. Cold brew, which works quite well. That'd be quite nice. And I mean, even though, because you'll notice that the, the heat does radiate, um, you'll, you, they do have the little kind of rubber uh, bands that help you keep your hands protected from that cold beverage or the hot beverage. So. But yeah, I do think they're durable. I really like them and I just noticed that they're uh, made in Australia. So. Yeah. yeah, I've dropped mine too a, a bunch of times. I feel like if all these things so far have been durable and it's uh, it's it's lasted. So I like that. Uh, I will go next. These are um, Corksicle. So this is a large, large. This yes. is Corksicle I think is kind of trying to compete with that whole Yeti world. Yeah. Very heavy stainless steel. Again, Corksicle is making everything from wine tumblers to beer can tumblers to large insulated uh, beverage holders. So very, very similar idea. This is 16 ounces, um, heavy. But again, instead of going super wide, I don't know if you can see it, but they've cut the sides off. So the sides are flat, which allow you maybe to grip it a bit easier as opposed to just being perfectly round. Um, and so it does fit in the car. Yeah, it does. Which I quite like. Compared to a Yeti that's going to be too big, um, I like the fact that the Corksicle fits inside if you want to park a heavy beverage. And it does keep your liquids hot for a long time. Again, super well insulated. A very similar setup to the Yeti lid, except that where the lid is, there's a tiny little bit of a lip. I don't like that. So you don't like that. Um, it's, it's fine until near the end of the coffee yeah. when you're kind of having to... Because it's probably only right in the center, maybe three three millimeters. So it's a very tiny little lip here. Yeah. Um, but it's enough that the liquid will kind of hit it and go over. So if it's full, like Jamie's saying, then the liquid yeah. just comes through normally. Uh, but once you get to the end, yeah. um, you definitely have to almost either tip mm -hmm. it up or be a bit more careful. Yeah. So I also have a corks coal. Um, I actually looked to see if I could get a different lid for it because I, compared to the Yeti, this one doesn't feel as secure. Yeah. So I, I mean, I use it because it keeps my coffee really nice and hot, but yeah. it makes me nervous because I'm not positive the lid is on. <laughs> Whereas my clean canteen, I screwed on. I know it's on. Yeah. Okay. Um, I also just grabbed kind of a standard Starbucks travel mug. Which I'm sure lots of people have. Yep. Um, this is, I think this one's 12 ounces. Yeah, 12 ounces. Um, I like these. I don't use them very often now that I have the clean canteen. Um, just, they have like the standard pop lid. Um, but I find it keeps it warmer than my heat cup, but it's not, it keeps it warm, not hot. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of more of a drink it right away kind of. Pretty standard run of the mill, but it's still. And you can get them so anywhere, cool. which is yeah. good. I've, I've used this one when we've made coffee and gone out, and I, I you know, it's again, yeah, it's, yeah. it's fine. Yeah. It's a nice London, little, so it's cool. handy. It's, it's a, yeah, I like the, the size, the girth of it. The girth of it. <laughs> we should do like a girth test where we just how far our hands go yeah. along. Yeah, how long until our hands cramp. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that gets used every once in a while, but that's like a last resort kind of one. Yeah. My uh, my favorite is next, uh, and maybe just favorite for the fact that these Contigo mugs um, are really, really good from a heat perspective. I have sometimes taken this Contigo to work and left it for five or six hours and it's still smoking hot, which is good and bad because some days I just want to be able to have a big gulp of coffee and I mistakenly at one o'clock in the afternoon take a sip and realize that it's still scalding hot. Uh, this is a... Probably a 16 ounce, um, insulated, double walled, 
you get these at a two pack at Costco, you can order them on Amazon. So from a cost perspective, they're, I think they're relatively reasonable. Uh, you have to hand wash the lids, but you can dishwasher the bottles. Uh, they do have, you know, you can obviously take, clean the inside out really well. It's really easy that way. It is a push to drink as well. There's a lock. So they claim that it's an auto seal. So even if it's open, uh, this, this isn't open. You actually have to press your drinking button, um, but as well as there's a lock. And so I'm excited to do our leak proof tests on these ones. But I love the Contigo. I have gone through a few. I mistakenly was dishwashing everything at one point and then my lid got kind of smelly, if you remember, yeah. and uh, had to throw it out. So I bought a two pack. I have one in this gorgeous kind of pinky purple and then I have just a basic silver one. Mm -hmm. um, the wraps do come off over the years, like I have noticed. Uh, they'll kind of scratch away. This one has been dented and dropped uh, everywhere. Um, and I've, I've broken lids before, but I've also then taken another lid because it's the exact same fitment. So I do have a couple of Contigos, so. We do take very good care of our things. <laughs> yeah, I feel like life is, if it can't take occasional drop, yeah. then okay. what fuck it's good for. Okay. Uh, so my final one, I have a Contigo at home as well, which I don't actually use. Uh, but I have this Stanley one. Ooh, very like tool. Yeah. Um, this one is actually, the secret is that it's not allowed to have coffee in it because um, my husband does not like coffee. <laughs> so this is a tea mug and we can only put tea in this one. Okay. Uh, it just has a screw top, same thing. It has a button on the back uh, for the mouthpiece. I find it very equivalent to the Contigo in that it stays hot for too long. Yeah. Like I actually have to, um, this is usually my, I am sick and drinking lemon tea. And I have to like leave it on my desk with the lid off because it's too hot. I can't remember. Yeah. Uh, but it's really good, durable. It's gone camping. It's pretty heavy. I'm curious about the leaking. I haven't ever tried, but I think it's about a 16 ounce. Yeah. It's built for life. Yeah. That Stanley. So I think like just thinking about all these cups, I think, you know, in making a better footprint in the world, you obviously have a lot of options and you have everything from kind of super hip Yetis, mm -hmm. uh, these Keepa Cups, you'll find them everywhere, Contigo's, Starbucks, these Clean Canteen ones, really nice, Corksicle's making a big push. I do think regardless of how you drink your coffee or hot beverage, you can find a multi-use cup that's easy to clean, uh, keeps your drinks hot, and, and then you know making less of an impact because every cup of coffee that you have, every piece of paper, uh, does make a big impact and like I said it doesn't have to be perfect every single day of the world That's not I don't think a realistic expectation at this point in life But honestly if you have even two of them one you can leave in your car or one at work and one at home You really do have lots of options to reduce your coffee impact because the coffee world does really make an impact um, on the environment so and you can be, you know, I feel like we've all driven by that one person who's drinking out of their regular mug in their car. Also an option. <laughs> I mean, maybe not a safety option uh, in case you spill uh, that. Yeah. I think that's distracted driving these days, but. So don't drink out of a cup while you're driving. Shall we see if they uh, yes, leak? let's leak. Test. <laughs> let's, let's leak. Leak time. Leak proof time. Yeah, proof Leak time. testing time. Okay, let's, uh, okay. how do we do this? Let's take these off here. Let's put them down. So, let's start with our Keepa Cups, because we both have them. So I feel like this is our non-scientific testing here, just to protect this table. This is not as good as feminine hygiene product testing. <laughs> no, this, yeah, exactly. <laughs> So if we think about, I think this is important. I don't typically, I'm not a person obviously that throws my cup, I typically carry it. Yeah. But especially there's a lot of people that put them in backpacks. If you're going to yes. school, your yeah. purse. Yeah, I, well I put mine in my lunch kit usually and then depending on where I put it, it can often like tip over a little bit. Plus if you haven't maybe finished all of your coffee and then you just throw it in your yeah. lunch bag or your backpack after, yeah. there's a tiny bit of coffee and it slowly leaks over the day and then that's a disaster. Yeah. I, I already know the result of this one. <laughs> so again, with the Keepa Cups, there is a little tab here that you would park it on and then you would put it inside this, which I do think takes a little bit of a, now that I've used it a bunch, maybe it is nice. So just do a three, two, one. You just flip it upside down? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, 
interesting. Oh no. Oh, there you go. Mine's leaking. Mine's leaking out of the center too, yeah, actually. Yeah, I actually, oh here, mine kind of really, mine's coming now. Yeah, there we so, go. So, so center, so the center cap, yeah. and I'm getting a bit of my lid, which I thought, I feel like, okay. Yeah, that's so, what I anticipated. Slow drip. Yeah. Mine was pretty quick though, like right yeah. away. That's interesting. So I find having, say, had this in my lunch kit and having it knock over, and I'll get a little bit of coffee underneath here, and then as soon as I get a drink, it all pours out. Oh. Which I don't Interesting. Want. But I just need to be um, less sloppy. Less sloppy. We're just gonna reuse this water because yeah. it's Reduce, just reuse, perfectly reuse good up. water. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so keep a cups. Didn't uh, pass the leak test. No, but I they are better than I anticipated them to be. Yeah. I think for an everyday, they're still good. I am going to go... Uh... I feel like we should do equivalent ones of it. Okay. What, what do you have? What do you think? Oh, maybe the... Do you uh, want to do the, the Yeti, Yeti at the same yeah, time? Yeah, we'll do the okay. one. Just because so, I feel like they're similar styles. Totally. I like this. Okay, so... <clears throat> Again, this is uh, sliding lids on both of these. It, is, it does make a big difference, that little lip there. Yeah, it does. Okay. I'm really nervous about this one. So, are you, you closed? <laughs> Lid closed? Lid closed. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, instantly. Too much, Dan. Oh, strangely enough. Yeah, when I turn it, tip it, it. It is kind of faster. Look at this though, slow down. The Yeti almost like, It's almost like it needs air. Yeah. Yeah, yours, yeah, yeah. it's leaking to the lid there. But this is good. Yeah, that is good. My, and maybe this would change with hot liquid in it, but my concern is that the pressure yeah. from having something flipped with the weight might actually pop this lid out. But maybe if it's warm, it'll expand. I am really impressed with the Yeti. I would hope so. I feel like when you're spending a lot of money on something, you would want it to. Yeah. It's interesting that both, like that one obviously is continuing. The Yeti did spill a bit at first, mm -hmm. but it's almost like uh, once it's... What if you turned it sideways? Well, if I did this again? Yeah. I'm just thinking like if it was sitting in a backpack, this just pours out. <laughs> okay, so not bad. Not bad, but yeah, okay. okay. Interesting. Back into the old soda stream bottle. Which you do, if you don't have a soda stream and you drink carbonated water or bubbly, again, thinking about an, an, our, uh, you know, your impact, soda streams are fantastic. So great. And apparently I should have thrown this bottle out in like 2017, but I'm still using it and it works. Because you're supposed to uh, throw these out after a while. Oh, really? Or recycle them. Um, what do you want to do? Um... What you got left? I All I have left is my Contigo, oh. which is going to be my gold standard winner. Okay, well, I'm, I'm going to do my favorite one then, too. Okay, your clean canteen. My clean canteen, and then, and then we'll do the rest. Yeah, okay, perfect. A little bit of water there, a little bit of water there. Oh, I know something else we could talk about. Okay, here we go. My, this is my baby. I have high my hopes. <laughs> Are you locked in? Locked in. Three, two, one. Yeah, look at that. Standard. I honestly think that uh, this is why, again, over and over again, the Contigo keeps your your coffee very hot and doesn't leak. And your clean canteen is the same. Yeah. There's days when you've come in and you're like, oh, it's so hot still. Yeah. But look at this, like you can. And it like, surprises me every time. Bah, 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 bah. So the only time I've had this leak is I think, again, if it's been open. It's like Dairy Queen. Yeah. <laughs> if it's been open and then a little bit of coffee's gotten underneath the lid, then and it'll that leak. comes out, yeah. Then it'll leak a little bit. But purely because of where it's. Amazing. Yes. Look at that. Thank you for not failing me, Clean Captain. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> Just clean those jeans, clean those jeans right <laughs> off. <laughs> Sorry about that. The biggest spill of the day on the table was Jamie's pouring. Okay, so now we're doing kind of a, a bit generic here. Yep. I feel like, yeah, this one would be probably equivalent to a Contigo. Okay. 
Okay, so this is again a lockdown lid, so you would open this up. I feel like this is gonna lock in. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Ready? Ready. Three, two, one. Oh, Starbucks, good job. I feel like the snap lid here is yeah. nice because it's similar to a pop-in style of the Keep a Cup, but it's a proper, like it's locked in. The Stanley. Yeah. I wonder who makes them for Stanley. I feel like that yeah. if, if Stanley makes them themselves or if they're made by someone, I feel like well, it'd be interesting. It, because Stanley, oh. Oh, did you oh, get, oh yeah, you got it, oh. Oh. I've got a, um, because yeah. they make the thermoses and stuff. It wouldn't surprise me if they, if they do it themselves, yeah. It's leaking a little. Oh, okay. So winners from a leak proof contest are these guys right here. Contigo, Clean Canteen, and this random Starbucks one. Yeah. I'm sure there's probably like 40 of these versions though, so who knows oh, yes. what this actually yeah. one is nowadays or if it's available still because yeah. they do change stuff. Yeah. But uh, well played. <laughs> I'm glad it survived. Yeah, I'm glad it survived too. I feel like I have never lost. Uh, I've never lost a Contigo one. So yeah. there's one more thing I want to talk about. Oh, great! Okay, I think the last thing, just to kind of wrap up the full circle reusable. Uh, we made the coffee today with this metal Chemex filter from um, Able Brewing. Yes. And so again, as people get into pour overs and they get into the classic paper filters, um, this is another option that I think is a really good one. Now it's going to be different yes. than your classic paper filter um, because yeah, exactly, it's okay. So if you grab the Chemex there real quick, you will notice that because uh, this is a metal filter and doesn't capture all the oils and things, you will get a bit of sediment in your coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, way less than say a uh, French press, but significantly more than paper. Yeah. So same way that if you did a percolated coffee, the classic paper filters, they take out all the fine sediment, they take out the oils, so this, the coffee itself, uh, you have to grind your coffee a little bit coarse compared to what you would for a paper filter. So if a paper filter was kind of right in the middle, I would go closer, maybe 60, 75, 80% and play around a little bit and try to find out where your low sediment is versus too much sediment versus, you know, your pour time is too fast. Because if you go really coarse, obviously your water will just run through and you won't have kind of a proper, uh, coffee experience per se, you'll lose that flavor, it'll be weak or, um, and, and you won't enjoy it. Mm -hmm. But the, the great part about that is you can just bang that off into a container for your compost or you can put it in the garbage. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, it's just another use uh, of something that you can use over and over and over and over again. So I've been using this probably for a year, when did you get, you bought this for me, right? Yeah, probably about a year. Yeah, and so it it mixes in between, like sometimes I'll go to paper filters, sometimes I won't, but for the most part, I use this probably four or five days a week. Uh, it's really good, it's simple, um, and I, I love the fact that you can now continue to find new ways to, mm -hmm. to uh, filter your coffee with a reusable multi-use item. Yeah, and Abel makes them for other brew options as well. Like I have the metal ones for my AeroPress, which I use. Um, I assume there would be other ones. But yeah, I would think so. I don't know if Abel necessarily makes them, but... And even when, uh, in our last video, we talked about going to Coava in Portland, and they, all of their Chemex pour-overs were made with metal filters. Yeah. Which I thought, they just had a huge stack of them, which I thought was really And just clean them and put them through yeah. the store, yeah. So even yeah. if you're a coffee shop, you can end up using those. Yeah. Instead of having to use all the paper waste, because their paper waste on filters would be massive. Yeah. Amazing. I, I love it. I think there's a way to stay in the world, start the year, if you drink coffee in some way, shape, or form, just think about how you consume it and what you're throwing out. Yeah. And you don't have to change everything all at once. Yeah. Once a week. Yeah. Even if you get a French press, I mean, it's the original, simple, yeah. multi-use thing that you throw nothing out. I mean, you get a different coffee experience with that. 
um, but certainly why, don't get hung up on one specific type, especially if you're going through lots of filters and lots of other stuff. And don't forget to recycle your coffee bags. Yeah. Don't throw them in the garbage. Someone the other day was throwing coffee bags in the garbage, so recycle it. Anyways, here's to a, uh, here's to a better year of reusing coffee equipment. Yeah. And more coffee adventures. Yeah. 2020. Or like look online on Kijiji or Facebook Buy and Sell. And, uh, and just buy something that somebody's already used. Yeah, that's an even better way to do it. Until next time, stay caffeinated. Yes. San Diego. <laughs> <laughs>